Welcome to EDO Aero Classroom. In this tutorial, we will discuss distance formula in 3D geometry, section formula in 3D geometry, and midpoint formula in 3D geometry. Let to find out the distance formula between two points, let us consider two points P and P. And P is the point whose coordinates are x1, y1, and z1. And Q is the point whose coordinates are this is x1, x2, y2, and z2. Then to find out the distance between these two points, we have one formula that is which is described as under root of x2 minus x1 raised to 2 plus y2 minus y1 raised to 2 plus z2 minus z1 raised to 2. This is the required formula. Formula for calculating distance between two points in 3D. Difference between 2D distance formula and 3D distance formula is lies in the fact that in this, 1x is also included. So, we included one more term in the formula that is z2 minus z1 raised to 2. Other formula is same that is x2 minus x. As we know that in 2D, this formula is x2 minus x1 whole raised to y2 minus y1 whole raised to 2. If the coordinates of P are x1, y1 and coordinates of Q are x2 and y1. So, here we have one more coordinate extra. So, this axis is also included in the formula. Now, let us see one example based on this formula. In this question, we have to find out the distance between two points that is P and Q whose coordinates are given as minus 2, 4 and 1 and 1, 2 and minus 3. So, here x1 is equal to minus 2, y1 is equal to 4, z1 is equal to 1 that is x1, y1 and z1 x2 is equal to 1, y2 is equal to 2 and z2 is equal to minus 3. That is, this is x2, this is y2 and this is z2. Now, using the formula of distance, which is as derived x2 minus x1 raised to 2 plus y2 minus y1 raised to 2 plus z2 minus z1 raised to 2. Now, putting the values of all these terms, we get x2 is 1, minus x1 is minus 2, that is raised to 2, plus y2 is 2, and y1 is 4, raised to 2, plus z2 is minus 3, and z1 is minus 1, that is minus 1 is whole raised to 2, which is equal to 1 plus 2, 2 is 3, 3 raised to 2 is 4, 9. 2 minus 4 is minus 2 and minus 2 raised to 2 is 4. Minus 3 minus 1 is 4 and 4 raised to 2 is 16. Which is equal to 9 plus 4 13. 13 plus 16 is 29 or is equal to root 29 units. So this is the required distance between two points P and Q. Now let us discuss the section formula. Section formula says that let P and Q be two points in the space whose coordinates are x1, y1 and z1, x2, y2 and z2. Let R be the points whose coordinates are x, y and z. On the line joining P and Q such that R divides line joining P and Q in the ratio M1 is to M2. Means here M1 is to M2 dividing the join of P and Q 
internally. So, the coordinate of x is given as m1 into x2 plus m2 into x1 divided by m1 plus m2. That is m1 multiplied by co first coordinate of second point plus m2 multiplied by first coordinate of first point divided by m1 plus m2. Similarly, we can find out y that is equal to m1 y2 this is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 divided by m1 plus m2 and z is equal to m1 z2 plus m2 z1 over m1 plus m2. Here also difference between the section formula of 2D and 3D is that only here we include one more axis that is z. So we have one, one more coordinate that is z. So to in order to find out the coordinates of z we apply this formula. So these are the required coordinates of point R which divides the lines joining P and Q in the ratio m1 is to m2. When z point R divides line joining P and Q externally in the ratio m1 is to m2 then the coordinates of r is given as x is equal to m1 x2 minus m2 x1 divided by m1 minus m2 similarly coordinates of y will be m1 y2 minus m2 y1 divided by m1 minus m2 and z will be m1 z2 divide minus m2 z1 divided by m1 minus m2. The difference between internal formula and external formula is lies in the fact that instead of addition sign here negative sign is put. So by using these two formulas we can find out the coordinates of r using the case as may be. So now let us see one formula based on these two formulas. In this question, we have to find out the coordinates of the point which divides the join of P and Q in the ratio 2 is to 3. Inter firstly, it divides internally. Secondly, it divides externally. Let R be the required point whose coordinates R, X, Y and Z. Now first case is when it divides internally. So the Y, X will be given as M1, X2 plus M2, X1 divided by M1 plus M2 which will be equal to M1 is 2, X2 is 4, M2 is 3 and X1 is 2. Divided by m1 is 2 plus m2 is 3. That is 2 plus 3. 4 into 2 is 8. 3 into 6 is 3 into 2 is 6 divided by 5. Which is equal to 14 by 5. The coordinates of y will be given as m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 is equal to here m1 is 2 and y2 is 3 here m2 is 3 and y1 is minus 1 divided by 2 plus 3 which will be equal to 6 minus 3 divided by 5 which is equal to 3 by 5 and z will be equal to m1 z2 plus m2 z1 divided by m1 plus m2 which is equal to 2 into 2 plus 3 into 4 divided by 2 plus 3 which is equal to 4 plus 12 divided by 5 
is equal to 16 by 5. Now let's find the coordinates of R when it divides externally. Second case is when it divides externally. So coordinates of x will be given as m1 x2 minus m2 x1 divided by m1 minus m2 which is equal to m1 is 2 x2 is 4 m2 is 3 x1 is 2 m1 is 2 m2 is 3 which is equal to 8 minus 6 divided by minus 1 which is equal to 2 divided by minus 1 is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to m1 y2 minus m2 y1 divided by m1 minus m2 which is equal to m1 is 2 y2 is 3 m2 is 3 and y1 is minus 1 divided by 2 minus 3 let's put in the bracket this is will be 6 3 into minus 1 minus 3 minus 3 into minus 1 is equal to plus 3 divided by minus 1 which is equal to 9 divided by minus 1 which is equal to minus 9. Z will be m1 z2 minus m2 z1 divided by m1 minus m2 is equal to 2 into 2 minus 3 into 4 divided by 2 minus 3 which is equal to 4 minus 12 divided by minus 1 which is equal to minus 8 divided by minus 1 which is equal to 2. So the coordinates of R when it divides PQ internally are 14 by 5, 3 by 5 and 16 by 5 and coordinates of R when it divides PQ externally are minus 2, minus 9 and 8. So these are the required answers. Now let us discuss, discuss the midpoint form line 3D geometry. Let P and Q be two points whose coordinates are x1, y1 and z1 and x2, y2 and z2. Let R be the point whose coordinates are x, y and z which is the midpoint of P and Q or which divides P and Q into equal parts. So the coordinates of R are given as x will be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y will be equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and z will be equal to z1 plus z2 divided by 2. Here also same difference lies between 2D and 3D that is one more axis is included that is z axis. So here in this one more coordinate has been included in the axis of r that is z. So we have we also have to find out the coordinate of z that is given as z1 plus z2 divided by 2. Now let us see one example. In this question, we have to find out the midpoint of line joining P and Q. Let R, whose coordinates are x, y, z, be the midpoint of P and Q. So coordinates of x, R will be given as x will be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 which is equal to 2 plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 because here x1 is equal to 2 and x2 is equal to 1. 
So putting the values of x1 and x2, we get this. Similarly, y will be y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Putting the values of y1 and y2, which is 3 plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 5 by 2. Z will be given as Z1 plus Z2 divided by 2 which is equal as 3 plus 4 divided by 2 is equal to 7 by 2. So the coordinates of R is 3 by 2, 5 by 2 and Z by 2. So these, these are the required coordinates of R which divide the line join of P and Q or in equal parts or we can say that R is the midpoint of P and Q.